This is going to be a video about the world align texture within Unreal Engine 4. It's sort of connected to my previous project that I worked on, uh, which was to create a Minecraft environment within an hour or so. And the world align texture is something that's really, really useful if you're working on a grid based uh, texture system, sort of like Minecraft, because every block has its own texture and it's sort of connected to uh, this sort of grid based system, uh, which is really useful. So what is the world align texture and why should you care? Yeah, so the world line texture is something that is really cool because it's a texture that is projected onto the world. And if you move your mesh, it's sort of just going to be following along uh, that way on the X, Y, and Z axis. Now compare this right here to working on a normal texture. And you can see it's not really just following along. It's just, uh, it's just connected to the standard block. Another cool thing is that you can actually go ahead and scale this down and it's going to retain its uh, texel density, which is really, really cool. All right, so let me just go ahead and demonstrate to you how you can use this and a bit of problems we're going to face and uh, why it's so awesome. So when you're working with the world align texture, it's important to understand that it's actually using something that is called a uh, sample source that will change how the uh, how crisp the texture will look within the engine. And the default one is that it's going to be a bit blurry. So I'm going to show you how you can fix that. And I'm also going to be showing you how you can implement that within your material. So I'm going to be using this block right here to uh, show you how you can use the world align texture. So I'm going to start by scaling this up to four by four by four. It's going to be good. Yeah, let's use that. What we then want to do is to go ahead and drag in our content browser in here and create a new material. We can do by right clicking in the content browser, go down to material, and let's name this to world align texture material. We're going to open this up and move it into here so we can view the uh, block itself and material. Now, what you normally would do is to go ahead and go into your content browser and you would want to go to your textures and you would uh, and drag your texture into the um, material editor. Hook it up to the base color and you're good to go. Now, the world align texture is a bit different to that because you can't use a texture sample for this to work. And another important thing to note here is that we're using a really, really low resolution texture of 16 by 16 pixels. So if you're using a really low resolution texture, you want to go ahead and right click on your texture go to Sprite Actions and apply Paper 2D Texture Settings. And save it. All right, so instead of using the texture sample, what you want to do is to go ahead and right click within your material editor and search for texture. And instead of using the texture sample, use the texture object. What we now want to do is to find the texture we're going to be using. So let's go ahead and go down to textures here and just search for uh, Let's use the uh, plank birch. And we can't hook this up to the base color because this is not a texture sample. So what we now want to do instead is to go ahead and create a world line texture. Hook this up to the world line texture and then hook up the X, Y, and Z to the base color because we want the world line texture to project the X, Y, and Z of this texture object in the world to our model. We're just going to be moving this up to make it a bit more tidy. What we then want to do is to change the texture size because it's by default 64 by 64 by 64, which will mean that this will tile every 64 units. So this can accept a, uh, a constant three vector but since we're going to be using a block, which is the same dimensions on all sides, we can just use a constant. So we're pressing one on the keyboard and then left clicking within the material editor. You can actually create the constant. You then want to hook this up to the texture size and change the value to 100. And that's going to make sure that the texture is going to be looking good. Now, lastly, to make sure that we remove a bit of the shininess on the texture, I'm going to go ahead and create two more constants. We're pressing one and 
left clicking in the uh, editor. I'm going to hook up the one on top to the metallic value and the one on the bottom here I'm going to change to value of one and connect it up to the roughness. All right, that's the entire process of creating the world align texture and getting this to work. So if I press apply now, and if I uh, go ahead and open the content browser again, which I unfortunately closed, let me just go ahead and bring this back. Let's go to materials and hook this up to our block. All right, so we got this to work. And if I move this around in the world, it's going to be having the texture following along like that, but it's really blurry still. So the way you want to fix that is by going back to the material editor and double clicking on the world align texture. And you'll now access the uh, material expression or the material function for the world align texture, which looks something like this. In your case, you want to go ahead and access the texture samples within here. So go ahead to the first one up here and change this sampler source from shared wrap to from texture assets and do that for the rest of these. When that is done, you want to go ahead and click apply and save. And you can now close down the world align texture. And as you can see right now, it's looking quite crisp and good. You can close down the uh, world align texture material. And as you can see, it's all looking awesome and great. And that's how you can make your world easier to work with and uh, just a lot more fun. Now it's important to know that if you're going to be using the world online texture and manipulating it, it's going to be changed throughout the entirety of Unreal Engine 4. So if I go back in here and I'll show you. So if you change the sample source right here, it's going to be changed for all of your other projects as well if you're using the world line texture. So to simply revert this, just go back to the sampler source and set this back to shared wrap. And you're good to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye.